I bought over 700 pounds of untested consoles from Goodwill, and in this video, we're gonna go through about 10 of the consoles, test and fix them, and see if we can turn a profit. Guys, welcome to the Hampton Home. My profit goal for this video is $200, so we can save up for a cool limited edition 360. I'll show that on the screen, but let's go ahead and start with this 360 right here, which is actually a 360E, which I don't see very often, so I'm pretty excited for it. It is pretty scratched up, but all things considered, it looks pretty good, and it's funny to see a manufacture date of 2013 for an Xbox 360. Uh, but let's plug it in and see if it works. All right, first 360 of the Hampton Hall. A little nervous. Let's see if it turns on. You know, I don't know if we got broken consoles here, working consoles, we're gonna find out here. And it actually sounds like there's a disc inside, so can we start off strong with a free game? Yeah, baby, let's go. NBA 2K18, first console in the lot. We got a free game. Now this doesn't mean much because it's NBA 2K18, but um, ooh, we got some profiles. Hey, I don't usually wear glasses, but I have some eye issues right now, so we're rolling with the glasses for part of this video, but let's go ahead and check these out. We got, how do you pronounce that? That's almost like assassin and Asian morphed into one name. That's pretty creative. You also got Chris, Eric Hall, uh, Haters123, JC, JC Money123, JCM, and Mad or Nah1345, just a classic. But let's go ahead and put some of these profiles up, see if they got some interesting stuff. Now being an Xbox 360e console, this is on the Metro dashboard, which is, you know, whatever. Not a big deal, uh, kind of a lame dashboard to be honest, but uh, let's go ahead and check out Chris's profile here, see what he's got. Latest game played was NFL Madden NFL 17, so this console actually played pretty recently, even NBA 2K18 as we saw in here. Of course, all offline. Yeah, this guy just played tons of different sports games, which is fair. And uh, let me just scroll through all these profiles and see if there's anything else other than the sports games. Dude, Madden all has the best avatar. He's even got the gloves and everything. Um, but scrolling through all these profiles, literally every single one of them is just sports games, which is fair. Like, I love sports games as well, but uh, usually I try to throw in some other variety, too. Oh, dang it. They, dude, they used up almost every every bit of the storage space. We got four gigs on here, only four megs free, though. That's funny. I tested out the disk drive, and it is working, so great start to the Hampton Hall. We got a fully working Xbox 360. It will be listed down below for sale on my website, which is called jrobgaming.com. And basically, throughout the Hampton Hall, we'll have every single console you see in these videos listed for sale down below, at least like 95% of them. Uh, so go check them out. And we'll have a mix of like console-only stuff, console controller, console controller and cords. We're basically just taking all the accessories from the Hampton Hall and throwing it in with these consoles and cleaning them up and that sort of thing and reselling them. It, we kind of have this cool system going on where we're going to have a piece of tape here that has the number of the console and we'll match it up on the listing as well so you can kind of reference back to the video and see which console specifically you're buying so this is number 33 you'll see number 33 on the website and by the way i'll throw a photo on the screen of how much i paid for the whole lot and how many consoles i got so i paid like 1400 dollars for about 110 consoles which is actually not bad uh, it's about 12 dollars per console a whole lot cheaper than what i paid for the texas load uh moving on let's go on to the next console so next up we have some of my favorite consoles from the lot which is a, a bag of wheeze you can see this international paper <laughs> bag I don't know why they're in a bag here, but we can see one Wii, we have uh, two Wii, and then we actually have some other just random accessories and stuff in here. We've got a uh, dirty controller, which probably has corroded batteries. Oh, actually, oh, I don't think they're corroded. Hey, that's surprising. We also have an HDMI cable because that's so useful for a, for a Wii console. And then we've got an AV cable for a 360, which is also very useful for a Wii console. We also have some manuals a Wii jacket, and oh, we got Wii Motion Plus in here, which is actually kind of cool. But let's go ahead and plug one of these Wiis in. Actually, let me just check one of them out. We'll start with this one right here, which, wow, it's got both flaps intact, and it actually does not have that many scratches on it, which is surprising. It is pretty dusty, but any SD card? Nope, no SD card, but that thing is filthy inside of there. How is it so dirty, but like there's not many, that many scratches on it? <laughs> Whatever, let's plug it in, see if it works. Got this thing plugged in, let's see if we have a free game. Usually the Wiis are no free game. You can tell, like, right when you boot it up, you can hear the noise and know if it's a free game or not. Uh, but usually, like I was saying, uh, it's pretty often they get a free game instead of the Wii. But let's go ahead and boot it up and see what's on it. All right, we got, it just looks like the standard. We got Hulu Plus, Netflix, Everybody do a Boach channel, the Check Me Out channel, some absolute classics there. So we have quite the variety here. We got, like, Wii Fit Plus, Zumba Fitness, but then we also got Mario All-Stars and some, some Super Smash Bros, that sort of thing. But let's go ahead and put a game in and just see if it works. So we'll put the classic in, Wii Sports. And, oh yeah, wait a second, hold on. Nope. Oh, come on, dude. Nope. That's interesting. Nope. All right, well, for uh, temporary sake, we're gonna do a little slap here and, wow, 
that actually did work. I've done that on the 360 plenty of times, but I did not know that worked on the Wii. But if we fix that, it looks like it's working because here's Wii Sports and dude, I can't believe I actually just slapped the top of the Wii and got it to work. It's, that's amazing how universal that is. And coming into Wii Sports here, we can see all the Miis and it actually looks like we got a lot of Miis here. Ooh, we got Bad Dad. Ooh, okay. I see you. Let's see what you got, Bad Dad. Oh, crap. Let's go. No! Pop out the in the Indian inning. All right, well, we're failures. I failed there, but I'm actually curious if I eject the disc now and try to put it back in, will it still be broken? Did I just magically fix it by slapping the top and it's like fixed forever now? That's, it's a, the, the amazing thing is somebody probably gave this Wii away because it wouldn't accept discs anymore when all they had to do was freaking slap the top of it. I'm a genius. I can't believe I did that. And of course, we already checked out some of the Mies in Wii Sports, but yeah, you can see some here. There's probably like 15 Mies. This one is asleep for some reason. <laughs> Livy, <laughs> so random. And of course, the other thing I like to check is I like to go to the calendar and kind of scroll back until I can find some play data. So let's do that. Oh, here we go. Wow, April of 2020? This person was playing five hours a Wii a day in April of 2020. That is amazing. All right, I'll take it. But this console is good to go as well, guys. Uh, and it'll be listed down below for sale. Let's move on to the next one. If you guys like the Hampton Hall and the Texas Load, you should check out my brand new sticker sheet with six high quality vinyl stickers. As you can see, we've got Texas Load themed stickers, we've got Hampton Hall themed stickers. I'm really happy with how they turned out. You can pretty much stick them anywhere. And if you guys want to support the series, check them out on my website down below called jrobgaming.com. I'll have them for 10 bucks plus free shipping. You can also check them out on Whatnot with my link down below. And if you lose my link down below to sign up for Whatnot, you'll get a $15 credit so you can get these stickers for pretty cheap. Also, by the way, guys, I do have Hampton Hall shirts for sale down below on my website. They're really high quality. You won't be disappointed so check them out down below. All right, so next up we have the other Wii that was in that bag. Let's see if there's an SD card in this one, and nope, there is not. And overall, it doesn't look too bad. We got one flap left, uh, but yeah, let's plug it in, see if it works. All right, three, two, one, and... Ooh, that does not sound good. Uh, no free game, unfortunately, again. That's crazy, but this drive is sounding kind of, kind of whack. Oh, we got some games. We got Super Mario Bros. 3, we've got Pub, pub darts? That looks like a Super Nintendo gamer. No, that's just like a straight up, it's like a WiiWare game or something? Interesting, okay, I, that's what I like to see. Free games, wait a second. No, wait, how do, there's no SD card. How is there, how are there photos on the photo channel? What? I'm so confused. Was it just me? There was definitely a photo of somebody on that little pop-up of the, of the Wii photo channel, but yeah, like right there, but I can't access any photos. All right, um, let's go ahead and put in Wii Sports. Again, no free game here, which is unfortunate. We'll see if this loads up. That sounded rough. Oh, ah, yikes. Okay, so disk drive is not working, which is great. So here's my thing with Wii disk drives. What I've found is that it's really not worth anybody's time to try to troubleshoot the issues on a Wii disk drive, unless it's very specific issues that you know, like it's one solution to it, like slapping the top of the disk drive. Um, what I've found is there's like a multitude of different issues and like the time it takes this troubleshoot and find which issue is causing the problem, it's just like not worth most people's time. But let's go ahead and scroll back and see when this thing was last played. Wait, another one from July of 2020? Wow, Deca Sports, Wii Sports, Photo Channel. Dude, what is it with these Wiis that were played for so many hours in the 2020 day? That, that's amazing. That's actually right at the start of the pandemic, so maybe people pulled their Wiis out to play because they were bored. I don't know, but just by the way, that little uh, basically what I look for is this yellow icon for the messages that that doesn't mean that's the last day it played It just means it's the last day that there's like a you know, like a message on the message board like this right here um, So it's it's very hard to actually find the last day that was played like this thing could have very well been played in August of 2020 say uh, For example, but I'm not gonna scroll through every single day to find that um, So we're just gonna we're just gonna assume it was July 2020 when this thing was last played uh, Let's also check out the me channel and see what's going on there. Okay, we got um, 10 Mies, eh, nothing crazy, but yeah, we got some Mies, which is already always cool to see. Manny, wait, are these two Wii's like actually, maybe these two Wii's actually came, straight up came in that bag from the person who don donated them. That's gotta be it, because the other Wii had a person named Manny as well, and this one has a person named Manny. They were both played in 2020, and they were both in that bag. These Wii's must have been donated together, which is really interesting, but whatever. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the next console um, and uh, see what it has in store for us. All right, guys, next up, we got another 360 console. This one is a slim, and it, I mean, it looks pretty good. There is some scuffing right here. Um, we still got the warranty seal, manufactured in 2010, and there's definitely a hard drive in this thing because it's pretty heavy. Yeah, we got a 250 gig. Yeah, baby, let's go. All right, let's plug this thing in and see what it does. All right, three, two, one. Am I plugged in? 
I think I actually have a bad power supply. There's no light on it. And it's plugged in. Yeah, so that one was definitely a bad power supply because I just plugged this one in. It's got an orange light on it. So uh, now let's see if this thing turns on. All right, three, two, one. There we go, we got power. And, ooh, I don't think I heard a gain. Maybe I did. No, I didn't. But the disk drive just shoots straight out, which is always a good sign. Now it's time to check out what kind of profiles we get on this thing. We've got a nice little background of, I can't tell what that is, but we got a user that signed in immediately. It's crowding, crowding toaster. Yeah, that's pretty creative. Oh yeah, it looks like a true gamer. Got the Xbox 360 shirt on, the camo pants. What is that, a skate park? Oh, that's awesome. I love seeing that. We've got Call of Duty Black Ops 2 played in 2020. Dude, all these consoles are like played fairly recently. Wow, 2020. Call of Duty Black Ops, Minecraft, Call of Duty Ghosts, a uh, bunch of stuff. Even goes back to 2014, so pretty, you know, a six year play history is uh, actually a lot longer than most people with uh, 360s. Spider-Man Dimensions, if we, if we had that game in this console, that'd be worth more than the console, but uh, let's go ahead and see what else we got on this thing. All right, we have 15 profiles. Awesome Man 50, Bishop, Caleb, Chara, Crowding Toaster, <laughs> God himself apparently, Heeb 95, Jamie, Kyle, Olaf, Olaf Master, Pink Angel 95, Pizza Master 24, Player 1, Spiciest Walnut, Supersonic 1. <sighs> what a hand, what a, what a mouthful. Let's go ahead and try out Spiciest Walnut 1 and see what he's got in store. 22,000 gamer score. Hey man, that's no joke right there. Brian, get quad feed smoke dank weeds. He is from Virginia Beach, which makes sense because that's close to where I bought this thing from. Let's go ahead and scroll through here. We got 2019, again, I guess that makes sense because the last one was 2020. Uh, but like Call of Duty, Black Ops, Gate 3, Guitar Hero 3, Batman, pretty wide range of games here. We got a full 75 games here. Let's see when the last one was played. 2011. Wow, so 2011 to 20, 2020 or whatever it was. Good on you, Brian. All right, next up, let's try out Heeb95, who has 7,000 gamer score. And no bio, no message. But we do have some games played in 2019. I mean, all of these, all these profiles have played games fairly recently. Does that person have vampire teeth and elf ears? I don't even know you can do that with your with your avatar. Again, played in 2019. But yeah, all the other profiles are like offline profiles. They don't have like a bio or message or anything. But again, they all have a pretty recent play history of 2019, um, all in that time frame. So yeah, I don't know, like a family of people, a dorm room, a pass down between family or friends. I don't know. It's always interesting just kind of making some theories about what happened with these consoles and uh, who played them because it is it is kind of strange to see this many different profiles played within the same time range. It's, it's got to be like a house with, you know, 15 different people, which is crazy to think about. But I don't know. Let's go ahead and check out what kind of storage we got on here. We, we saw we had 250 gigs, but I'm curious if we have a bunch of demos or profiles or whatnot. Um, wow, a bunch of games are downloaded. Actually, let's see if these games are full games. Are they? Uh, no, not much. We got Minecraft. Is that... Ooh, we got Minecraft. Hey, that's something. Wait, no way. <laughs> I'm booting up Minecraft. I don't know much about Minecraft. I've only played here and there, but I'm trying to boot up a save file here, and it's called Jacob's World 1. What are the chances? Uh, okay, uh, sure, let's load it up and see what happens. Dude, I feel like this could actually be an entire series just exploring people's random Minecraft saves on old Xbox 360s. I don't know. Let me know down below, guys. Are you interested in seeing more of this kind of stuff? Like, if people have save data from old, old Minecraft games, should we open them up and make videos on kind of just what we find? I guess I found this like house in the sky. All right, but moving on, let's see what else is on this console. This console also has Black Ops downloaded. Uh, let's go ahead and put a game in though and see if it works. Okay, yeah, the game's working. And you know, the cool thing about these consoles is as far as I'm aware, like you can see these old profiles, but you can't actually log into their profiles. So you can't see their personal data or anything. So let me know down below, should I sell these consoles with the profiles on them? Like I feel like some people would actually like to see, get the nostalgia of scrolling through old profiles and stuff. So let me know down below. But anyways, this console is, uh, this console is working. It'll be listed for sale down below on my website. Let's go ahead and move on to the next one. So next up, we'll throw a little wrench into things and go with the PS3 Slim. And this one doesn't look too bad, at least compared to the Texas Load. Most of the PS3 Slims looked really bad. And we do also have our, our warranty seal intact here. Doesn't look bad at all. Let's go ahead and plug it in and see if it works. And I will note that in the Texas Load, all the PS3 consoles were actually clearly tested by Goodwill or somebody and most of them did not work. I'll be curious to see if these are the same deal or if these are actually truly untested. All right, three, two, one. We got life, any free games? Nope, oh, here we go. A, all right, well, it's a good sign that it's not factory reset, but it looks like whoever turned it off last just straight up unplugged it, which is not surprising at all. Not factory reset, that's awesome. See, we got Netflix, Crackle, Voodoo Movies. Um, let me just go ahead and start with this 
Let's see, what is it under? Okay, memory card, you, no, what is it under? Save data, here we go, save data. We'll start here and see, okay, nothing. All right, never mind. let's back up, let's go see. Yeah, we got one profile here, which is Matt. Let me just see what firmware we're on. We're actually on 4.30, which is, uh, that's not that recent. Oh, wow, yeah, this is from 2012. Okay, not too recent. I mean, it looks like we got a 160 hard drive. Uh, okay, okay, uh, let's see what's saved on here. Okay, so the interesting thing here is it looks like whoever played this thing actually went through and deleted all of their save data, but left their game data utility. Because you can, you can see all the updates for like MW2, Red Dead Redemption, GTA by Liberty City, tons of stuff here. And that must be where all of our storage space is taken up at. Because if you go back to storage space, you can see that we had like 50 gigs taken up. Yeah, we have 49 gigs that are gone, um, but I like I can't find anything here. Let's go ahead and put a game in. I got MW2, of course, just like, just like usual. Uh, you know, PS3 Slim disk drives, just they always sound strange and they pull in slow, but that's how it's been for literally every single one I've tested. Um, but let's just make sure it loads up here. And yeah, the game is loading up and playing without an issue here. And man, this is a great console. I mean, it looks pretty clean. And I'll flip it back over in a minute to check, but I think we have all four rubber feet, which is doesn't happen very often. But guys, this console, of course, will be listed down below again, um, which is like all the other ones, number 63. So check it out if you're interested and let's go ahead and move on to the next console. So, I mean, while we're at it, let's go with another PS3 console here. We got a fat one and this one is pretty scratched up, which is not surprising considering it's one of the fat glossy ones, but looking at the side, we do still have the warranty seal intact, which is what, you know, I'd say fairly often you actually find these with the warranty seal not intact, especially on the old fat ones. Uh, let's go ahead and plug it in though and see what it does. All right, I plugged in here. Let's flip the switch, turn it on and any free games, no free games. Uh, it, it's hard to leave PS3 games in the consoles because frankly, for one reason, they have a light on the front that tells you if there's a game in the, in the console. So most people remember to take them out. Um, but uh, it's booting up, so that's a good sign. Ooh, we got a, you got a few people on here. We got Anthony, BJ, and Jeremy. All right, let's just talk with Anthony and see what, see what's up with him. Oh, we got a message box. Let's go. This is the best part when you. <laughs> Sup, Tony. So innocent. That that's the best I've ever seen. Sup, Tony. <laughs> that's awesome. Usually when you <laughs> pull up the PS3 message box, it's got a bunch of like vulgar messages. Um, but uh, man, that's awesome. Let's see. We get one save on MW3. All right, nothing much there. Uh, maybe that's why it was on BJ. Maybe he's the one that's uh, got all the save data. Let's, let's check it out. Now, BJ also has a message box here. Check out the receive. We got one game in fight, and we've got no sent messages. So maybe these guys just didn't play the console that much. We do have some save data there. We got like GTA 5, Call of Duty Ghosts, and Black Ops 2. So it looks like it was last played in 2014, which is, I'd call that somewhat recent for a PS3, considering the PS4 came out in 2013. But let's just keep scrolling around and see what we find. Oh, I, I keep forgetting this is Blu-ray Drive Data Utility. This is 40, that's, that's a funny movie. Um, I thought I was actually gonna have the movie downloaded there, which would, would have been a jackpot. I was about to just sit down here and watch it on, on screen with you guys. We're on 4.55 and we have, it looks like a 40 gig hard drive, which is pretty typical for a old PS3. It's usually either, either 40 or 80. Um, unless it's backwards compatible. Last but not least, we got to check out Jeremy here and see see what he's been up to um, in the last decade. Received nothing. Sent nothing. All right. Uh, let's see if there's any uh, save data here. Yeah, Black Ops 2. So yeah, it appears these guys just did not play much, which is fair. Uh, but let's go ahead and put a game in and make sure it works. So it does pull. It pulls games in, although very slowly, and you kind of get to give it a little bit of help, but. Not a big deal. It's kind of expected with a dirty console like this. Well, cool. Game is working. Uh, no problems at all with this console. Although the disk drive was, like I said, a little bit slow. But other than that, console is fully, fully working. Again, it'll be listed down below on my website, jrobgaming.com. So check it out if you're interested. And uh, let's move on to the next one. Maybe this console does need a little work because the game is just straight up stuck inside of it now. Great. All right, well, let's open this thing up and see if we can get our game out. So I was able to open up the PS3 and then open up the disk drive and pull a disk out pretty easily. I just had to like release a top piece and it, you know, slid out. But I unfortunately did not have enough time to troubleshoot the disk issue because I just have so many consoles I'm testing right now. I'm hoping that later in the series I'll have more time to be able to actually repair some of these consoles. But uh, for now, we're just gonna go ahead and move on to the next console. So next up, we're gonna try out another Wii here. We have a white GameCube compatible Wii with one flat missing. And it's got a sticker here on the front that says 3990. Uh, I guess that's how much they were selling it for at some point at Goodwill. I don't know if that came with any cords or anything. I hope it did because that's pretty expensive for a Wii without cords. No SD card. And we have console number 76, I guess that is. I don't know. <laughs> let's plug it in and see what it does. All right, let's turn this bad boy on. I really want a free... Dude, I want a free game. Come on, man. In my experience, most Wiis have a free game. We've got three in a row now with no free game inside. And it looks extremely basic. 
It's just like the default channels that come with your Wii. Yeah, nothing over here, no secret channels. Let's go ahead and check out the save data and see if this thing was even played that much. <laughs> we got two games on here, Super Mario Bros and Mario Kart Wii. So yeah, this console was not played much at all. And the interesting thing is, I've seen this on another, another Wii before, but the colors look like, everything just looks blown out. Like everything is super bright. I wonder if that's a setting, because I've seen this on a Wii before where it just like the picture looked wrong. Let me check. I changed a couple settings, but it didn't do anything clearly. It's still very blown out. I don't know why it does that. It's kind of strange. Let me know down below if you've ever, ever seen that before. But let's put a game in and hopefully it doesn't make any really bad noises like those last two Wii's. Sounds good so far, that's promising. Uh, but let's see if it works. Yeah, there it is. Honestly, <laughs> it'd be really disappointing if the game didn't work considering this console looks like it's barely been used, only had two, ga only two games saved on it. But let's see if we have any Miis. My guess is we have one Mii. I was right. <laughs> We have one me, Richie. <laughs> Dude, come on, Richie, you played one time and just decided to quit. Uh, to be fair, the Wii could have been played, factory reset, sold, somebody else played it, that, you know, but in general, people don't re factory reset Wiis because it's just like not a thing you think about with a Wii. And it's just like, there's not much personal data on here anyway, unless you type in your like personal information in the, the me name or something, I don't know. But let's scroll back and see if we can find when this thing was played. So kind of unsurprisingly, I scrolled through every single month and found nothing. So I guess this person didn't even play enough to get any messages on their on their calendar, which is funny. Uh, but all right, console works, I'll take it. Let's go ahead and move on to the next one. So next up, we have one of the few Xbox 360 fat consoles here. And this is a Black Elite with a 120 gigabyte hard drive. And looks like it also has some Sharpie marker that was written on the side of the hard drive, which is kind of funny. Now flip into the back. It was manufactured in 2009, and uh, yeah, definitely a Jasper, which is good to see. It looks like it's never been opened. Not surprising, but let's plug it in and see if it works. All right, now that it's plugged in, three, two, one. Okay, there it goes. I just wasn't pressing hard enough. The, the button is kind of broken, which is just a faceplate issue. It sounds like we have a free game inside. There definitely is. Ooh, yeah, NBA 2K11, and what is that gunk on there? Ew, what the heck? All right, I hope that is not like Coke spilled inside of the console. I'll put that back in there for safekeeping, but surprisingly, this drive is opening out without opening up without an issue, which is, yeah, doesn't happen too often on these FAT 360s. Uh, but let's go ahead and explore this thing and see what's on it. And I guess I'll just start with the game since it's booting up automatically, and it is working without an issue, which is great to see. And now that we know that works, we'll go back and check out the profile, which is Anthony. He's got 7,000 gamer score, not bad at all. Checking out the achievements. Last played NBA 2K11, not surprising considering that's the game inside. And then also just a bunch of other various games, Mortal Kombat. Call of Duty Black Ops 2, uh, a lot of variety, but nothing, nothing played online here though. We have a couple other profiles as well. We got Anthony, Maury, and Rick. Um, so we already saw Anthony, let's check out Maury here. All right, well, not too much. We got a couple of Call of Duties, Burnout Paradise. Oh yeah, that's a good game. And then last but not least, we got Rick here with Resident Evil 5 and Army of Two. And then yeah, checking the storage, there's still 95 gigs free, so didn't use much of the storage here. Family settings is not turned on, which is good to see. And uh, yeah, I guess this console is good to go. Let's go ahead and move on to the next one. And you know, while we're at it, we'll hit another 360 right here. We got number 99, we got a 360 Slim, which doesn't look too bad, except for when you look inside of it, it looks like there's just, it looks filthy. I don't know, just a ton of dust and dirt. Ugh. Let's flip it around and, oh, we're missing a side piece. That's awesome. And we have, still warranty seal is still intact. Manufactured in 2011. Now checking the hard drive bay, let's see what's in here. We got nothing. So we probably have four gigs built in, but let's plug it in and see what happens. All right, got life and, oh yeah, there's definitely a game in there. Oh, it's not. What did I hear? Maybe I just, maybe I just heard the dust uh, kind of whirring up a little bit. That was ugh, strange. All right, we got a, ooh. <laughs> we got this guy looks like Frankenstein. Sketchy baton, sketchy baton, uh, 67. And we got Trey. All right, so let's go ahead and check out sketchy baton. Why keeps, it's probably sketchy, sketchy baton. Uh, whatever, dude, I, I don't know. We got Brothers in Arms played in 2016. Assassin's Creed Revelations, also 2016. And yes, this person picked up an Xbox 360 in 2016 and played it for less than a year and then gave it away, I guess, to Goodwill. Um, I don't know, let's check out the other profile as well. All right, next we got, we got Trey, who has zero gamer score and no games played, which is just, just great. Let me go ahead and just <laughs> verify how many gigs we have here. Yeah, so there's definitely four gigs. So yeah, we got 1.7 gigs on demos. Naruto is the only demo downloaded. Um, so yeah, not a whole lot going on with this console, but of course, let's go ahead and open the disk drive up, disk drive up, put a game in and make sure it works. And I mean, luckily, despite how filthy this console looks, it's booting up, game's working. Um, I don't know, console works perfectly fine. Let's go ahead and move on to the next one now. So next up we have this Wii console. Of course, just another white GameCube compatible Wii with both flaps intact, which is not too often you see that. No SD card. Let's plug it in and see what it does. All right, I really hope there's a free game in here. Please, please. Yes, yes, I heard the noise. There's a free game. All right, Wii Sports. 
Wii Sports, Mario Kart, Wii Sports. Really, just dance. I mean, it looks like perfect though. Dude, this happens every once in a while, but I'll get a Wii where I have to stand back like way farther away to for the Wii uh, sensor bar to work. I don't know why, maybe it's the sensitivity. Okay, so somebody took the sensitivity and put it all the way up, so you have to use it from really far back. That's, I, I had no idea you could do that. But okay, cool, the console is working so far. Let's check out the save data here, see how much this was played. Yeah, we got some Super Mario Galaxy, Wii Sports, just some classic stuff. Of course, Just Dance, as you saw. Um, let's go ahead and make sure the game works, and then we'll test out some other stuff. All right, so Just Dance is working. Let's go back to the Wii menu and check out the Mii situation. See if we got any Mii's on here. Okay, we got a few. We got five Mii's. This one looks interesting down here. Bus driver. <laughs> we got the bus driver. That's funny. Yeah, it's all pretty standard, but we got the bus driver down here, which is my favorite. And of course, last but not least, let's go ahead and scroll through and see when this thing was last played. So this thing was played a long time ago. We got February 2009. We've got, what is this? Mimo 30 days. Okay, strange. We feel that's played in 2009, that's funny. So let's see what was played in January 2009 here real quick. We got We Fit again. What? What is this? Oh, they set up a goal. Oh, that's actually pretty cool. They set up, they set themselves a goal and actually played We Fit and made little memos to themselves. So like, yeah, we're gonna count down to maybe like a weight loss goal or something. But the funny thing is there's no other memos after this. I mean, I guess I can scroll through a little bit to see if they actually played We Fit, but no, that's kind of sad. <laughs> So it looks like they held their goals for like a week and then gave up, but oh well. All right, this console is fully working and of course number 77 will be listed down below for sale. So go ahead and check it out. And overall, pretty good lot to start with on the Hampton Hall. So thanks for watching guys. And of course, let me know down below what you think about these consoles. We got new episodes coming every Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday during December. So make sure to stay tuned and I'll, I'll see you next time.